Get your time machine ready because today we're going back in time to learn the history of hydrogen gas on this episode of H2 Minutes. There's a lot to say on this topic, so we're going to focus on how H2 became known as a medical gas. First, let's go back almost 500 years ago when hydrogen was accidentally discovered by a guy named Philippos Areolus Paracelsus. In one of his experiments involving an acid and metal, he observed a mysterious flammable gas as a byproduct. Fast forward to year 1766, when a British philosopher and scientist named Henry Cavendish distinguished hydrogen as a flammable air that formed water upon combustion. This flammable air still didn't have a name though. It wasn't until the year 1873 when Antoine Lavoisier, referred to as the modern father of chemistry, used a French word hydrogen to describe the gas. The word derived from the Greek word for hydro meaning water and gene meaning forming or creating. So basically, hydrogen means water forming. Clever, huh? In 1888, the Annals of Surgery recorded one of the first publications linking hydrogen to medicine. It referenced Dr. Nicholas Sin, who at the time used H2 for intestinal application. Let's move down the timeline to 1943, when hydrogen gas was used for the first time in deep sea diving by a Swedish engineer named Arne Zetterstrom. This trend made its way to the U.S. in the 60s, when the U.S. Navy used a gas mixture called hydroleox. They noticed that it was able to ameliorate decompression sickness, and they were able to dive even deeper while breathing it. They were even using it at very high concentrations, as high as 98.87% H2, 1.26% O2 at 19.1 ATM with minimal or no cytotoxic effects. This is important because it helps to demonstrate that H2 is extremely safe at very high concentrations. All that being said, the buzz about H2 was very quiet until the year 2007. At this time, there were only 50 publications about H2. In 2007, a very prestigious journal, Nature Medicine, published a groundbreaking study over H2 and its antioxidant properties. The article explains that H2 works to selectively neutralize cytotoxic oxygen radical, also known as the hydroxyl radical. This blew the roof off of the hydrogen research. Since then, there's been over 600 published studies and reviews over H2 and its medicinal use, including over 170 human disease models, and it's growing rapidly. Asian countries like China, Japan, and Korea are all over this thing. They even have clinics where people with chronic diseases can go for H2 therapy and have been seeing amazing results. Right now in the US, H2 is used more for supplementation, but the research is showing that H2 has huge potential for medical applications addressing chronic disease and pathologies. They say the marketing is 10 years behind the science. So what do you think? Will 2017 be the year of the hydrogen boom? Let us know in the comments how long you think it'll take America to hop on the H2 train. And that's your dose of H2 in two minutes. Time